Hey, 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 welcome back to Shopping with Cheryl. I'm Cheryl. And if you've been watching, you know, I've started on the eBay journey. It's been a learning experience. I'm, I'm learning a lot thanks to a bunch of YouTubers that are on eBay. They have been for years. They put out a lot of information. And every time I listen to them, I pick up a little nugget that I'm like, oh, snap, bonus. Uh, so I'm trying to sell everything in the house. It's taken me a while to get used to eBay. If you are new to eBay, let me just say, I hope you're catching on faster than I am, but there is hope for us. It is a, it's a learning process, but I figured, yeah, I usually do the product reviews for Amazon and I get that, but I want to take you along on this journey with me. So if you're looking to start your own eBay, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing and show you some of the things I am posting on eBay, whether I've posted them already or I'm getting ready to. I figure it's kind of interesting because if you're like me, you look and you may go be going through your house or your grandma's house or if you're picking and going to garage sales or whatever and you see stuff and you're like, oh, I never thought of that because there's some stuff I probably would have just thrown away. But I'm like, no, somebody wants it. It seems like almost everything somebody will buy on eBay. Now, granted, if you're having to buy it at a garage sale or somewhere, you've got to, you've got to watch how much you spend versus how much it can sell for. Or even if there's like a million of them and you're not going to sell it, that's a little pickier than what I'm doing because I'm doing in a state. So but here we go. Thought I'd show you a few things that I'm, I, some of them I've already listed, some I'm getting ready to list. So one of the things I just listed the other night is, I believe this is the Boyd's Bear, and it's a little nurse bear. Look, is she cute or what? So I have her up on eBay. There are a few of them, not too many. She's still got her tags. Uh, her tag's a little bit messed up on the back, but I put pictures of everything. I, I take a lot of pictures of these things. So she is gone up. Don't know where she came from, but there she is. She's currently happily sleeping in a box ready to get shipped out. One of the other things, now I'm going to tell you, I went and I should get the link for them. For these plastic bags, they're like the bags you would use uh, for, they feel kind of like the ones you get at the grocery store to get fruits and vegetables and stuff. I got these super cheap and here's what I'm using them for. Is because I put a sticker number on every item as I list it, I list the item number so I can find it because I have like DVDs, I have a lot of. Hot Wheels cars, I have a lot of. There's certain things that I would have a hard time unless I inserted the pictures in my files. So I bought the numbered stickers so that I can put it all in a list because doing it for an estate, and even if you're not doing it for an estate, you're going to want to know how much money you bought the item for, how much it sold for, how much is shipping, and a way so that you know this Hot Wheels car is number 0102. Had to look in, in the reflection to see. So that I'm not mailing off the wrong one, you know, just by glancing. So I number everything. And I don't want to put the sticker on the item. So therefore, I put everything in one of these bags with the sticker on it. And I also ship and make sure everything goes in a bag. So in case... It's in a box and it gets left on a front porch and it's snowing or raining or something like that. Somebody's sprinklers go off. I don't want the item to get wet. You know, if the box gets soaked, I want to make sure the item has a better chance of staying dry. So even though I put bubble wrap or what have you, I still put everything in a plastic bag when I ship just to be safe. But... I can put the link to these bags down in the description. It will be an affiliate link. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. But 
this is the Hot Wheels. This is the Twin Mill Mega Construct. Now, I don't know anything about it. It's not open. I'm not going to open it to check it out. But I do know about Hot Wheels Twin Mills because I see them at SEMA every year. This is one of the most recognized Hot Wheels cars that comes to like big shows like SEMA. So I've got this listed up already. I've got a few of these different ones. And I just wanted to grab one and kind of show you so you can get an idea of what all I've been coming across. <coughs> now here, I'm going to be careful because I'm babysit. I'm fostering a kitten that was found along the highway uh, and needed some bottle fed and some medication. So I'm fostering and I don't want to jingle the bell because... We figure the kitten's about four weeks old, three, four weeks old, and might get excited. But this little angel, yes, has a little bell. Now, I don't know anything about her other than I will probably use the Google app. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But you can take a picture and it will do an image search. You can do an image search too. But it's right on my phone. And I take the picture and find the item. I don't think this bow actually goes with her. So I'll probably take it off to do the image. But I, I think she's kind of cute. And she does have the bell with her. I'm going to put that over. Oh, I'm going to put it up there. I don't trust. I don't trust Jax. So what else have I got? Oh, these. Now I've been doing some searches on them. And these are little toothpick holders. This one, I've got a blue one, and then I've got a, a few different styles of these. And I don't remember the brand name. I've got to research them again because I just kind of went through and did pictures to see what I wanted to get up right away. But I know these are pretty old because I know we had them when I was growing up. And like I said, I've got a few different ones. But I will be getting those up here probably tonight or in the next day or two. Another thing we had a lot of in this house are, let me get the other one, radios. Radios, radios, radios. I've got a lot of radios. I'm not sure how many because I... I just haven't counted. I just grab them as I find them. But we've got this small transistor radio. And this is by, I've gotten the wrong glasses, Super Sync or something like that. Super Sonic, AM, FM, all of this. Now, if you watch one of the other videos, I told you things like antennas, if the radio doesn't work, things like antennas in the battery box cover, you can sell those as replacement items. Those can be a hot little item. So I have been testing all of these as I go to see what ones work and what ones don't. Some of them have the cassette player. All of them are AM, FM with battery option because, yeah, kind of a prepping thing. You need battery options. So like I said, I'm going through them and testing them. The ones that work... I'm going to be listing right away the ones that don't work. I'm going to kind of set to the side and decide what I'm going to do with. Uh, I could sell them for parts possibly after I looked them up. but Or I could take them apart and sell certain parts of them. I'm going to make that decision. Or if I'm just going to garage sale them for parts, it'll depend. Because some of them are so heavy that nobody's going to want to pay for shipping just to get parts. But I will have a bunch of these. And Little Jacks, come here with your little snotty face. This is Little Jacks. He is, I put him on the scale. He is now up to one pound. When we got him and brought him to the house, he was under a pound. So he's, he's feeling better. He's got a cold and sniffles and he couldn't go poo. He had a lot of problems. And like I said, he was picked up in the middle of the highway in the middle of the highway so he's doing better and now he's biting me this is what my life is like <laughs> i'm getting attacked by a, a one pound kitten 
Huh. He helps me a lot, though. He loves the role of bubble wrap. He uh, also loves to get in the boxes while I'm trying to tape them. That's handy. All right. Some of the other things we have that are all over the house are metal signs like this. Now, this one, of course, I assume it came out of, I don't know, some place that was getting torn down or something. So I've got a bunch of these type that, you know, you don't see a lot. And I'm thinking, well, if my brother collected them, so did someone else. And then I have a bunch of like this that were store bought and signs that you can hang up. And these are metal. I've got different ones of them. A lot of them are your comic book superheroes, I guess is what you call them. I don't know. I know this is Batman. I know a few of them, but they're not my thing as far as I don't, I don't know what you call them. Hope you do. <laughs> but I'll be putting a bunch of these up because I, they just don't go with my home decor. All right. Something, okay, let me, when it comes to like these things that have a barcode, I want to show you this too. If you've got items with a barcode where they're still in the box, and you can scan them. You can just type in everything about the, the product into eBay, into Google, into Amazon, and do your research for getting a price. You can do that. But I'm going to show you something easier. Now, this is, I think it's about $35, $25, $35. I don't have the exact price. I'll put a link to it in the description. This is a barcode scanner. And there's some that hook up to your phone. I got one that hooked up to my, I can USB it in because that's what I, I need to do. I don't want all that junk on my phone. I don't use my phone that much when I'm doing this stuff. But this is just like anything else. If it was plugged in, I could grab this click my mouse into a search, eBay, Amazon, uh, Google, and just take this and boom, scan it, and it pulls up that barcode number and does the search. This is a huge time saver when it comes to getting stuff listed because I, I'd have to actually set and type in every exact thing about it because different colors, different everything. When I can just pull up DVDs, scan them, CDs, scan them, all these cars. Now, Hot Wheels and Matchbox don't pull up the exact car. I'll tell you that right now. They seem to pull up the series of cars. So while it helps, it's not as beneficial with that. But I wanted to show that to you. Link in the description. This, I'm going to wipe down again. This is Xena, Warrior Princess. Now, I do know who Xena is. My daughters watch Xena. Ay, 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 ay. In fact, I chipped my thumb bone being Xena one day and got a little overexcited. But this has never been open. Uh, the box is a little bent here, but it could be straightened out without damaging it. So I looked her up, and they're running. A lot of them are running about 20 bucks. And then some of them are, they look cheap. Here's another thing when you're doing your research, if you're new like me, don't just look at the price. Also look at what the shipping is because some of these people have it priced for $6.99 with $22 shipping. When I know that's not what it costs to ship it. So they're making their money on the other end, hoping you just don't pay attention, I guess. I don't know wanting you to get that click. And so, whereas me, I put either calculated shipping, which I use a lot if I don't know, because that to me is easier. And even whenever I do put a shipping price, I put the correct shipping price. So my price may look a little higher, but I'm not knocking your ass out on the shipping. So it's going to be the same amount as many others. It's just that my price is higher, lower shipping, rather than the other way around. 
So most of those though, that's about where they were. You always have some higher, some dirt cheap. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in and look at how many were sold so I can decide because I'm actually in the pro, I want to get rid of this stuff. I don't wanna hold it for years. So a lot of my things are priced under, just a little under what, what's norm so I can get shipped out. I've actually kind of been shocked. I've been selling stuff and you hear that chiching and I'm like, oh my God. But that was another thing I had. Now, one of the interesting things, and I have a whole mess of these, but I don't know if y'all went to church with your grandmas, but if you did, you might remember the fans. They are the wooden fans with, or the wooden, uh, like a tongue depressor almost, but they're not, with the cardboard, and yes, all the, all the ladies sat and did this. Well, I have a bunch of these. Some of these are advertising. Like uh, I've got different funeral homes. Uh, this is another funeral home one. Let me see. I've got a bunch over here from different churches. And all different kinds of... What is this one? Oh, the Charm of Color. Putman Fadeless Dyes and Tints. Now get this. Now I want to flip this over and show you the back. There is more advertising for them. Uh, I don't know if this is old or it just looks old. But I might be able to find out some information on it. But I think this is, a lot of these are from only Illinois because that's where I'm at. And the thing is, a lot of times when it's some kind of advertising, I'm looking up the business to see when it went out of business uh, with a lot of these things so that it's easier for me to figure out how old they actually are. But I thought these were cool. I'm going to sell them in lots probably, <coughs> advertising ones, and then I may do a mix and match. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do them yet to list them. But I've got a whole bunch of them over there that are from churches, funeral homes, things like that. Then, now I know these aren't near as old. Here's a cool idea. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet because I don't know these people. But do I know them? Uh, I don't think I do. I don't know these names. This is for a wedding. Okay. And this was kind of cute. I thought it was cute that they made these into, you know, it's got a list for the reception, uh, a list of the family. Oh, this is from 2016. Thought it was a cute idea. And then I have a bunch of them that are for elections. So there again, I'm not sure how much these are worth, if they're actually worth anything, but I'm sure there are people that may collect things like this, especially if it's family or, or somebody they really like. I wish I had ones that had more uh, federal or well-known people rather than just local, but wanted to show those to you too. So that is what I've got for you. I got some stuff going up. I mean, I have a ton more ready to go up. I just picked out some oddball stuff, but I have been getting stuff listed, made a few sales, hoping to get some more because I listed a lot of DVDs. DVDs, I understand why people do them. They're super easy. You know, I scan them, it pulls them up, and I hit make a listing, and I just fill it out and go put put it in the bag with my number and put it in the box. It's ready. So they're quick and easy. Whereas some of these things I have to, for my shipping, because I'm doing calculated shipping on bigger items, so I actually have to find the box, get them ready to pack, weigh them and everything to put in when I list them. If I was better at shipping, I wouldn't have to do that, but I'm not to that point yet. So 
There you go. I will put a link to the bags and to the scanner in the description and a link to my eBay. You can come check me out over there. Oh, if you're still around, I got something for you. If you are selling on eBay and you're not part of their affiliate program, what I'm doing is I join the affiliate program. Boom. No big deal. You can sign up for eBay affiliate and link to things, of course, and make a little commission or whatever. Now, from what I read, <laughs> double check on this because it's what I read. I have made an affiliate link to my eBay listings. You know, like shopping with Cheryl, you can, I made a affiliate to that. Then my products, as I list them and I share them on Pinterest and everywhere, I use the affiliate link. So that way, maybe if people are clicking through, I can make a little bit of money to help cover the eBay cost. So I'm looking at it this way. If eBay, if I can make, you know, a few cents for sending somebody there, then it will take off that eBay cost of, you know, their percentage. So there's something for you. eBay does have an affiliate program. Even if you're not selling, you can get an eBay affiliate. And as you share eBay items, use that affiliate link and maybe put a little extra money in your pocket. Because honestly, as an Amazon affiliate and Amazon influencer, there is money to be made if you're willing to put in the work. So like with me, I do my review videos. I uh, send out links. I do all of this stuff. It's work, but it's okay. That's how I pay my bills. And so I figured with this stuff, might as well make that little bit of extra money if I can. Uh, and I'm driving traffic to my items. So there you have it. I have to go manage an evil, evil kitten. I know, I know he, he climbs up on me and looks for my jugular, <laughs> but I know, I see you. You need to get your eyes washed again. Huh? Yeah, you're sounding better. We will see you in the next video. Let me know, are you doing eBay? Are you uh, well advanced in your eBay journey? Or are you just starting out like me? Either way, I'm learning a lot, having fun, and glad that you stopped by to share it with me. So, have a great day. See you soon. Say bye-bye. <laughs> That's not how you say bye-bye.